Hi and welcome. My name is David. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Astro Pixel Processor. Okay, so this is what you see here on the screen is typically what you see when you enter the program. Uh, everything's loaded and it, once you just select a working directory, in this case I have a uh, external drive called the Easy Store with the file Astro Pixel Processor and that's just, it, it tells it where to where to put the files. Okay, so here we are. It's it's a pretty simple setup here. Uh, it's generally designed to be worry-free, um, but um, just going from left to right, or left to down, sorry, <laughs> um, at the top, you can see this is, this is how many uh, CPU threads it wants to use. Um, you can, there's a toggle here and how much, how much of the system you want to tax. Um, got RAM there. This is the, this is the folder that it's in. Uh, and generally there's a, you know, with the one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, that's the sequence that you add everything, uh, below there, multi-channel filter processing. So in this case, I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going with M42 when we did apply a filters. I have the 2600 mm pro seven different filters. So I'm going to be do that, doing that in this case, there's a lot of times we have a L RGB and it's just a, it's like a 2600 MC pro for instance. Uh, that's all the colors combined. You don't necessarily need that. So you can unclick that if you're processing a bunch of images that were just color. If you had multiple sessions, you can click that. I actually only had one session, so I'm going to deselect that. You can put in, I'm doing M42, so you can just put that in now. <clears throat> all right, and this is entering the, putting in all the lights and flats and darks and bias. Uh, this, is, this is the step where you do that. So go ahead and click light. Um, it brings up the default folder that you had before. I put all my files though in Astro Data, Raw Data, 2600 ML Pro, one M42 out of 10 Feb date. Okay, so this is all my lights I have. So in there, here I have L, RGB, SHO, I have all of them. So I'm just gonna select all and open them all. Um, fortunately there is a, if you just wanted to do one specific channel, you can go ahead and s select it, but I'm just saying apply filter header tag makes it a lot simpler. Okay. They're all loaded and you can I'm, I'm bring this up so you can see them all. So we have blue, green, hydrogen, alpha, luminance, oxygen, red, sulfur, all the options. And in the end, it's going to make a file for each, unless I specifically tell it to go ahead and uh, integrate. Okay, so we have all the lights in. If you have flats, you want to load that. My system's pretty clean right now, uh, so I did not do flats. I think the images look okay without flats, but I still definitely do darks, so I'm bringing the darks in. All right, loading in the darks. Okay, so you want darks for every integration that you used, so I have I have a thousand seconds for the hydrogen alpha. I have 120. I have 60 seconds, it seems. Okay, so I need 60, 120, and a thousand. I think we're good with that. So I'm going to go back to that darks folder. This is all my darks in the 60 second range. Supply to all channels. One twenty. All channels. And I actually had my thousand second darks in my old folder. 
took him last year. Need to move him over. Here we go. A thousand seconds. All right. Select all. Open. Okay, great. So we got all the darks in there. Can apply my bias. Same deal. A bunch of real um, bias. I got all the bias in there. Okay, now if you already have master flats and darks and bias, you can just select that here and, and that's a good route as well. Okay, so I added my lights, the raw images that I want to use. You can see that number there, the 47. 80 darks for the different exposures and 60 bias. Probably the best thing to do is all is have some sort of flats and darks just to make it perfect, but I think I'm gonna get pretty good images without the flats, so I'm taking my chances. Living living dangerously. Okay. Moving on to the number two category here, calibrate. Um, there's a lot of options here um, that you can adjust. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it as I'm not gonna adjust anything here. Um and I'm gonna just go ahead and create masters and assign to lights. All right, and we're done. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention before, um, before you go ahead and calibrate everything, I'll just go through and make sure that none of your images are really bad, um, just to get off on the right foot. Um, if there is something weird, uh, a dark where some light got in somehow, or <clears throat> one of your light images got a flash of light. Just it's best to just be off on the right foot and just take care of it from the get go before you start creating everything. So, all right, so we did section two. Let's move on to section three analyze stars. I typically have it at 500. So, let's analyze these stars and I'll talk to you when we're done. All right, let's go to register. You can set the reference if you have a particular reference in mind that you want to stick to. I just leave it. In fact, I don't touch anything. And I just go ahead and hit start registration. Sweet, that was fast. Okay. Honor number five, normalize. Again, I don't touch anything. Mode, method, scale. Nothing. Go ahead and normalize lights. Hit, the, uh, hit that button. All right, we're all done with the normalized lights. And the last and final step, integration. So if, again, if you want to save your normalized frames, you can go ahead and do that at the bottom. All right, integration. I'm doing integrate per channel. You can also integrate per channel and all. Um, I'm just going to do integrate per channel and all just to show you what that's like. But if you're doing just straight filtered mono collects, um, probably best to just, it's, it's fine to just do per channel because you, you, you want to integrate it either in Photoshop or uh, some other program. But I'm going to do both. And go ahead and hit the integrate button right at the bottom. M42, yep, let's go. All right, so here we are. We finished the integration process. Let's take a look at the images we got. Scrolling down, okay, integration blue. What does the blue look like? All right, not bad, not bad. Next one. So this is integration. This is what everything looks like combined. Let's see. Okay. Okay. It's all right. It's not bad. Let's see what the green looks like. Okay. H alpha. Looks pretty good. A 
luminance. This might be rough. I live with a lot of light pollution. Yeah, not the greatest. O3. Looking good. Red. Not bad. And sulfur 2. Okay. Alright, as expected, my... HA, oxygen, and sulfur look the best. Uh, the other ones, I didn't have any sort of light pollution filter on. I just had those bands. Okay, well, now that I have these images finished, um, the next thing to do is save them. On the right here, there's some different settings you can do. You can stretch it some more if you like. Uh, you can invert the data if you like that. Um, neutralize. Uh, whatever you like to do, you can do the your changes there. I'm just going to save it as it is. We're going to do sulfur O2 and H alpha. All right, let's save these guys. First, I'm going to save the sulfur to my folder. Then the oxygen. And the H alpha. All right, well, I'm David, and this is the end of my quick run through of Astral Pixel Processor. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit the click, like, and subscribe. And if you really like it, uh, please share with your friends. Um, but most of all, if in doubt, space out. Thanks.